How's it going, guys? It is 1.51 a.m. Friday, May 6th here in Japan, and we have a medium difficulty MSK slash anatomy question. Nothing dramatic, nothing crazy, okay? I will tell you exactly what you need to know. Not waste your fucking time. So before we get started, please subscribe my channel. Really appreciate it. Give the video a like. Really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Link is down below. Find me on Telegram. The links to the group and channel are down below. Now let's start the fucking clip. 23-year-old man, he's got a three-month history of lower back pain that is worse in the morning upon waking. Stretching helps relieve the pain. He has occasional dysuria. Physical examination shows reduced flexion of the spine and tenderness of the lumbosacral area and Achilles tendon. Which of the following is most likely diagnosis? Let's just walk through the answer choices here. We'll go backwards. Choice C, spondylosis, wrong fucking answer. Fancy sounding term that is not to be confused with spondylitis as we have for choice A. I'll explain that in a moment. Spondylosis, uh, often cervical, cervical spondylosis refers to osteoarthritic degenerative changes of the spine, okay, of the vertebral column. So we'll usually just be a patient over 50 and we'll just have non-specific idiopathic neck pain and they'll end up having an MRI which just shows osteoarthritic changes. That's just cervical spondylosis, okay? Uh, there's a propensity for this to run in families but no strict inheritance. Wrong fucking answer. Choice D, spondylolisthesis, another sophisticated term. Uh, on the US simile, in 100% of questions when this shows up, because you can get nonspecific uh, neurologic uh, findings in this condition, but in 100% of questions, they are going to tell you that there is a quote unquote step off between the uh, supra and infra adjacent vertebrae. So for example, they're going to say one vertebra juts out posteriorly significantly compared to the infra and superjacent vertebrae, okay? Can be associated with trauma, can be idiopathic for uh, who knows what reason, but if they want this on the US simile, they'll tell you something about the palpation uh, slash physical exam uh, shows a, a step off, okay? That's spondylolisthesis. Wrong fucking answer. Choice C, lumbar spinal stenosis, wrong answer, albeit exceedingly high yield for 2CK, all right? This is also technically an osteoarthritic change of the spine. Patient need not be obese, okay? But age is a factor. And this will present usually as a patient who has lower or mid back pain that gets worse with standing for long periods of time walking for long periods of time. They'll say uh, lower back pain that gets worse after walking for 15, 30 minutes, or uh, back pain that gets worse when walking down a hill, okay? So it's relieved upon leaning forward, okay? That information, very high yield for lumbar spinal stenosis. You should also know that this can cause something referred to as neurogenic claudication. So if they give you a vignette where it sounds like intermittent claudication, sounds like they'll say the guy has pain in his buttocks thighs okay it sounds like atherosclerosis but they give you enough information in the vignette where you're like okay well his pulses are normal and he doesn't have overt cardiovascular disease otherwise they want lumbar spinal stenosis for that okay it's on the neuroforms for 2ck it's a difficult uh, diagnosis neurogenic claudication but that's how lumbar spinal stenosis can also present wrong fucking answer Intervertebral discitis, wrong answer. I've never seen this on US simile for a correct answer. In fact, I've only seen this once as an incorrect answer. Okay. When students don't know an answer, they tend to choose weird sounding shit. I, I looked this up on Google, and apparently this can be due to infection. Okay. I mean, bacterial, viral, fungal. Uh, I've never seen this uh, on US simile otherwise. Low yield diagnosis, wrong fucking answer. Now, choice A, ankylosing spinalitis is our correct answer. Generally, a male, 20s to 40s, who's going to have lower back pain that's worse in the morning, gets better throughout the day. And you're going to diagnose with lumbosacral x-rays, as well as of the uh, sacroiliac joints. And it's classically associated with HLA B27 phenomenon. Okay, so PAIR, P-A-I-R, psoriasis, ankylosing spinalitis, IBD, and reactive arthritis. Now, what I described in the vignette here, you know, there's dysuria. Okay, and you use occasional dysuria, you say, what the fuck's that about? Good question. Not my fucking opinion. It's on the NBME. And you say, well, reactive arthritis isn't an, an explicit answer. 
Uh, why couldn't this be reactive arthritis? I mean, is this somehow related? I mean, the kid is, he's, he's had reactive arthritis and he also has ankylosing spinalitis because they're both HLA B27. And then you say, well, what about the Achilles tendon? I mean, why is that normally seen? Once again, not my fucking opinion. It's on the NBME exam. Okay. So be aware that in ankylosing spondylitis, you can get Achilles tendonitis. Okay. And you can also, it can be associated with uh, reactive arthritis with, um, urethritis. Okay. That can be either associated or possibly a precipitating factor. I should also quickly note, I've seen one difficult question on one of the PEDS forms where they gave you basically an eight-year-old uh, who had ankylosing spondylitis where it was back pain, worse in the morning, got better throughout the day. Okay. Unusual because the classic demographic, as I just fucking said, is usually a male twenties to forties with back pain, worse in the morning, but I've seen it once on one of the PEDS forms and you need to, you need to do a slit lamp examination in these patients to look for anterior uveitis. Okay. They like that detail. These patients can also get restrictive lung disease. Okay. So a normal or elevated FEV1 over FVC. Uh, they can also get propensity for aortic regurg regurgitation, which, so which sounds really fucking weird. I know, uh, but it's not my opinion. You know the deal. I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.